thing is so. <sighs> Let's go, baby. Got her loaded down today. I'm bungee this sucker. Can't forget the Retta. Push off. We ready. Ooh, that tie's ripping. Lock that up in. Get out of the shallows. Oh, we need the rudder out. Rudder down, rudder down. There we go. Salty PDL, first time out on her fishing. Let's get it. What's going on peeps? This is Chris back with another video. Look who we got out. He's here. The man, the myth, the legend, the Let's unicorn, go. Joshua Taylor. Hey, if you don't know who this is, you're slacking. Make sure you check him out. Link will be in the description to his channel. Finally decided to come fishing with me today. It's been a been a minute since we've been out together. It's, it's good to have my fishing buddy back. Not gonna lie. Normally I've been guiding everybody one around instead of having this guy guide me around so he's gonna show me where the fish are at today what we're doing is a little little challenge a little bad fish box challenge and also it's my first time out on the uh, Old Town Salty PDL check it out first time I'm getting to fish in it I've actually uh, let a bunch of other people fish in it hey use the code salty skills wow. save ten dollars wow. on your bad fish plug, box plugging himself guys what's going on leave a comment down below should bad fish hook a brother up with a box i need to i need to fill my tackle bag up with some gear bad fish is the way to do it so what are we doing here josh oh we're fishing we're fi i know we're fishing hey we're gonna try to go catch some red fish we're looking for some baby tarpon i caught a red fish make sure you check it out it's on my channel though and uh I still haven't caught anything. The challenge, by the way, is whoever catches the biggest fish today, it's not the most, it's the biggest fish, uh, wins. But we're using only the lures in our bad fish box, and whoever loses has to do the silly salmon off their kayak. Oh, this guy's changing the rules up, but hey, so we each got a separate box. I got one here. This is one of Josh's boxes. So we got a bunch of lures in here that we were able to choose from to work with. Down south lures, that's what I'm starting off with. Uh, we got some live target stuff, but this this is also what I got rigged up on my other rod. It's just like a Miradine Mini. It's called the Badonka Donks <laughs> by Bomber Lures. It's over here. Check it out. It's actually a pretty pretty sick color lure. Never tried anything like that. I mean, I've tried the specific you know style of lure, but not that color. So let's see if we can get one on that. I think honestly, our best chance though is this down south right here with the red red jig head this other stuff is really really big so today i think the key is going to be lower profile baits those other baits are just so big um i mean a redfish will def munch on one of those but we just had our first cold snap water temps drop just ever so slightly so we'll see how the fish react to that first cold front of the year and uh, yeah, let's go see if we can get on some fish. Hey, if you haven't liked this video already, you're slacking. If you aren't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe for more. And hey, leave a comment down below. Who's gonna win the challenge? And also, would you fish off the salty PDL? Cause I sure will. We got a beautiful funnel point right here. Let's see if we can't pick something off. What I'm starting off with guys is a Mission Fishing Jig Head, 1 8 ounce, rigged up with a down south little paddle tail got it rigged up here on my shimano stratic 3000 on a st croix premier seven foot medium light power it is a great outfit for throwing artificials there's 
trying to be super stealthy guys we're in about a foot foot of water here maybe foot and a half just had kind of our first cold front of the year water temps I, I don't think the water temps cool down very much if anything maybe a degrees or two probably because we've had a lot of overcast fish back in this hole. Man, that looks so good. Wow, I cannot believe I did not get a fish right there. Alright guys, let's go ahead and give the badonka donk a try. Got this guy rigged up on my toad fish. Nice little subsurface bait. Oh, hooked up! Oh! Yeah. Either that or super small pool. I think it was a ladyfish though. Oh, there we go. Is it? It is a snook. <laughs> Guys, Josh can see the uh, the fish from afar better than I can up close. Oh, oh, calm down there, buddy. Calm down there, buddy. No way. I didn't see you, man. Hey guys, Josh is telling fish stories again. Oh, poor guy. Let's go, guys. First fish of the day. Little snooky snook. Let him go, let him grow. Revive him a little bit here. Bye, buddy. Let's go. Hey, Josh's fish may be bigger. Doesn't mean we can't get one. Hey. Maybe the badonka donk is the way to go, boys and girls. That color's wicked. Let's see if we can get a big old snook. That's what I want. Man, check out the salty PDL just maneuvering through all this stuff. That's one thing that I, I can tell you, first time fishing out of it, is it's super like nimble. Easy to move around, easy to you know get in corners and get out. And if you kayak fish, or if you ever have kayak fish before, you would know that <laughs> You know, when you're up in those mangroves, it can be a challenging thing and you get stuck and it is very, very frustrating. So that's one thing I can say about this kayak. Man, I just want a big redfish. Snook would do me well too. That, that small snake I caught. Oh no. Look at that. We got puffer fished. So that's my best guess of puffer fish. Here's the down south that came in that bad fish box. This is a burner shad. Super natural is the color. Since I'm not catching any fish, let me go ahead and uh, talk about, you know, how to rig up a soft plastic. Here I got a loop knot super professional if you need help with uh hooking a soft plastic go right through the nose there when that sucker starts to bend on that arch just go right up through the back like so slide that puppy on there over the bait keeper check that out perfect nice and even man guys i really don't know what's going on right now Fish, fishing's kind of tough uh we got this super overcast day feels amazing out here i want to say it's like 75 degrees which in florida you know is a, is a blessing and uh we're just the the bite is tough josh has had two bites got two fish i got one bite one fish so 
you know we're not far off from each other obviously he's got the bigger fish and I, I wish I was there with him but it is what it is we're out here fishing fishing the trees fishing potholes uh, trying new areas uh, fishing funnel points anything that we know and can put our knowledge to application it's not working right now so maybe we need some more knowledge we're gonna go out um, maybe catch some trout try and catch a little bit e easier species Overall, having a good time so far, just not uh, tearing them up. Sometimes that's how it goes, you know that. Yeah. Come up. I don't think it's gonna come <laughs> that just caps the look that's today, guys. A freaking lizard fish. I haven't, I haven't caught in a lizard fish in a long time. Hey, they got some. Time. They got some teeths. Matt, don't you dare lip this guy. He'll rip your finger off. Check that out, guys. Look at those teeth on that fish. He will eat you up. See, you, buddy. I just need a fish. I just need a fish. Oh, oh, yes. yes. It's a miracle. He's not, he's not a bad one either. He's a fighter. Oh, oh, you come here. Woo. Finally caught a trout. I guess they didn't like the badonkadonk. It is a miracle. Hey, did I tell you that Matt lipped one of these and shredded his thumb? Here, guys. Let him grow. Let him go. Let him grow. Whoa. Bye, buddy. All right, all right, guys. That is going to do it for today's video. Unfortunately, the day did not go as planned. We went out there with a major feed, nice high tide. They all correlated. We were super excited. You know, Josh's first day back on the water, it was like, it was like Christmas Day. Unfortunately, we did not get into the fish that we wanted to. We were doing the bad fish box challenge. Uh, he gave me one of his boxes and he was using another one. I had a bunch of different lures to choose from. Unfortunately, my selection I didn't like for the application that we were doing today. The two baits that I chose, you saw the down south and then that uh, badonkadonk, which actually I ended up uh, really enjoying using that lure. Probably gonna pick up some myself. But the day didn't go as planned. We failed to realize that we were fishing on a full moon. So if you didn't know, fish are really, really active during the full moon at night. They tend to stock up their bellies in the middle of the night and don't tend to bite during the day. And that's all right. I mean, we were hitting laser casts under the mangroves, all the potholes where we thought the fish would be hanging up. And you know, you saw what we produced and that's just how fishing goes. And I love every single minute of it. One thing I got to do today that I really enjoyed is I got to put the Salty PDL to the test, the Old Town Salty PDL. If you haven't watched any of my Salty PDL content, make sure you check those videos out. Link's gonna be in the description box below. But I learned a lot of idiosyncrasies about the boat that I may like or not like, and that's okay. That's with every single thing that you purchase in life. You're gonna find things that you dislike and you're gonna find things that you like. But I really enjoyed getting out there putting some hours on that kayak and uh you know putting it to the fishing test because that's what that's what we do on this channel we go out in the outdoors fishing we're not just uh recreational kayakers for that matter so stay tuned for some more salty pdl content if you made it this far why haven't you subscribed yet I, it baffles me that you would make it this far and you haven't taken your time to click that little subscribe button and also smash that like button because it really helps a brother out you have no idea how far a like goes leave a comment down below guys was it good to have joshy poop back out on the water harassing me or should we just leave him out from now on let me know peace guys